Hey everyone, welcome back to episode two of Five Question Friday. Yes. Is it cool to say Five Question Friday or Five Questions Friday? I, I like Five Question Friday. I feel like it's like a yeah, but technically it's Five Questions. But yeah, whatever. both work. Anyways, the topic this episode this evening it's the daytime. It's not evening. The topic is what would you do? So all these questions are what would you do? And again, I'll link them down mm. below. Okay, ready? Wait, we have to start with a kiss. We have to start with a kiss. I have a little bit of you guys should do that too if you're doing these questions just connect well show some if you're affection. if it's a couple like ask permission if it's not you know yes yes may i kiss you again like, Kellen, yes you may kellen said we have to start with the kiss so you just that we did could, the last that one could, and that could be a, the move though yeah be like hey we're gonna we're about to connect in question so may i kiss you there you go guys kellen asked it my works. permission our first kiss he didn't just go in i mean he did grab my face and you're like can i kiss you i was like of course <laughs> But anyways, okay, You're not going anyway. there's technically six here, so one of these is going to be left out this time, but why don't you pick one as okay. if it's like a card trick. These are our, what would you do, table topics. We got like 10 of these, like we said last time. All right. Question one. First one. What does it say? <clears throat> is it the responsibility of the public school system to teach morals? That's like a heavy first one. Yeah, is it, it is. the responsibility of the public school system to teach morals? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that needs to come out of the household. Yeah, the parents. I think that school should be teaching facts. You know what I mean? Math, science, language arts, history, all of that stuff. Yeah. But I do feel like there's so much gray area. They're rewriting history books. They're in all yeah. of their books. It's just weird right now. I don't know. It's been a long time. Like, the public school system has changed a lot since you were in it and since I was in it. So, I don't know. But no, I think that anything of value and of substance needs to come out of the home. Don't you think? I agree. Uh, okay, pick this, pick the next one. We're just going to eliminate one at the end. If a coworker needed to leave early and asked you to punch their time card for them, would you do it? That's lying. No, it's lying and stealing. And stealing. Absolutely not. I think that, and I also would take it a step further, if a coworker asks you to do that, they're not a very good, well, A, they're not a good employee, but they're also not a good friend. You know, a lot of times you have friends at work, like, hey, man, would you mind, da-da-da, like, punching out for me because yeah. I'm going to jet out early? That's not a very good friend to ask you to, like, cover up for them or yeah. lie for them. Now, if, now you. if the management boss whatever is like hey due to our system or whatever this is what has to happen and it comes from a higher up i'm cool with that but i feel like this feels sneaky cheating lying mm -mm. Mm -mm. can't be caught with it okay i'll take one now um if you thought something illegal might be going on at work would you invade someone's privacy to find out does that mean like going into their emails or like snooping around their cubicle or their office? Oh, that's, that's a good, good one. Can you read you, that again? If you thought something illegal might be going on at work, would you invade someone's privacy to find out? See, that's uh, the two you're wrongs. Two, two wrongs don't make a right. But you're such a justice. Guy. I am. So I'd try and do it in 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 a in a honest honest way. way. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think you know that wouldn't hold up in court. Not, yeah. not But you can't. Two wrongs just don't make a right. You, yeah. If you feel it, there has to be another way for yeah. you to find out and figure it out. What about you? Oh, same. I mean, it would be it would be so tempting because I like I like to snoop. Yeah, yeah. I like to like figure I like, out. I like playing in private eye. Yeah, but I do think like when you're uh, trespassing on someone's property, so you yeah. like, go into their office or you look at their phone or they like that's just like you said, two wrongs don't yeah. make a right. But I do think I would if I really had that strong suspicion. I might, depending on what it was, I might go to someone in charge and just be like, I have no grounds for this. It's just like gut feeling. So I'm going to keep my eyes open if you want to keep your eyes open. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but then yeah. that gets tricky too, because I don't know. I think I would just pray and be like, Lord, either take, if there's nothing going on, then please remove this burden from me. But if there is, then please give me something that I can take to someone. You're really good with your prayers like that. You're like, change my heart, or change how I see this, or bring it to life. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, definitely, yeah. That's a, that's a crazy one, though. Cause yeah. if you Because it's easy to talk from this side, but, like, what if, uh, you know, someone was, like, stealing money? Or I'm trying to think of different, like, both of us have, have had very unconventional jobs, I feel like. It's not, like, corporate office. I've had a couple, but, oof, I don't know. Mm. But, like, I'm trying to think of what 
an illegal activity could be in. I don't really know. But anyways, two wrongs don't make a right. If you found $200 at an ATM, yes. would you return it to the bank? Um, what about you? Why, why, oh. why the bank? Well, so the way... Like, in, if, if, if they could figure it out... Well, they couldn't figure out cash. Well, the ATM, right? Like, if, if, if it came out, they have cameras on the ATM. True, If true. you found 200 at an ATM, like, someone left Maybe it in there... Maybe they see the timestamp. Yeah, I'd probably yeah, do that. that if, it, probably... if it was still in that slot... Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably do that. If it was on the ground, you know, it's... I'd probably stand there and ask, like, hey... Is As anyone, because I found money on the ground and I've lost money on the ground. And yeah. I just pray, you know what, God, I pulled that out of my pocket. It's not there anymore, so it must have fallen out. Like, bless the person yeah. who's supposed to pick that up. That's what I would And there's say. times when, you know, I found stuff and I always try and look around and see. But I also see, like, God blessing me that mm -hmm. way. So, what yeah. about you? I think, like, I, I assume, like, oh, it's an ATM, it's attached to the bank. You know when you, like, roll up to the bank and you just go to the ATM right outside or right in the doors? I kind of thought that, and I was like, of course. I would just walk in and be like, hey, someone, especially, like, 200 bucks, that's a lot of, well, yeah. it doesn't matter how much, but especially $200. Like, that's a lot of money for everyone. And so I would probably be like, hey, I just got here, someone drop this in case they come back. If it was like a random ATM, like I was thinking like New York City, you know, there's just random yeah. or in a city and there was no, like no one was around, you know what I mean? Like, and you saw it and I was like, oh man, someone might've gotten out 500 and dropped two or something. Would I drive to that bank branch and give it? I don't, I don't know that I would, but I didn't even think about that <laughs> yeah. until you said, oh, would I go bring it to the bank so they could check the cameras? I didn't even think about cameras. Yeah. So I don't know. Then in that regard, you're like, oh. Is there a dollar amount? Like, I, it, right? It, I know. It's like, like it's 20, what is the cost like, oh, no of my? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. then, if say it was just at one of those stores, right? Like yeah, that's someone's yeah. money. It's not the yeah. bank's money. No. Yeah. That is someone, someone's money. Yes. And if you give it to the store yeah. clerk, it's like, yeah. what are they gonna do? Well, with they, and it? that's the thing. They can't do anything. I think in that regard, I would just, I would be like, is this any? I would definitely look around. I wouldn't mm. be like. No, have you seen 200? Yeah. I haven't, you know? Yeah. I would definitely look around and try to return it, but I don't think, yeah, but to your point, I mean, I've dropped, I've lost money too. There was one time I did not have money to lose. I was, it, I was pretty upset about it. And it was like, probably like a hundred or $200. I was younger and I was like, oh, I had no. It's right here. <laughs> it's right $200. In this, right in this card. You found yeah. your money. And I, um. I was so disappointed, but I also was like, Lord, you know what? Maybe whoever found that needed it more than I did. So please bless them, help them to, you know, mm. be blessed by that. Speak to them through that money. I don't know. But yeah, that's a good one. That's an interesting thought. Okay, last question, unless we want to do a bonus one. Da, 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 da. Um, oh, I like this one. What quality would you like to improve in yourself? I have one for myself. Yeah. I have a lot for myself. But this one, I feel I feel more joyful than I look most of the time and I'm very aware of it because you'll take a video and I'll be in the background or I'll be with the kids and I look up I look unhappy or I look like you know when you're so serious but then I think about that moment I'm like oh my gosh I was so happy and maybe a thought came into my mind or maybe I was just thinking like I'm, I'm a very I'm in my head a lot so something was going on but I wasn't un I my mood did not match the face that I was wearing in that moment is that your resting RB <laughs> I mean, because I do that too. When I'm, my, I think my, I think mine's my posture. What quality would you like oh, to improve in yourself? Because you're always like, hey, your posture, and I think I have great posture. But then, you know, whatever. Well, when you, when you, when, when you relax. Mindful, but then as soon as you relax, and yeah, you're, you're like, on like, your phone or something, yeah. and then. And that's probably the same with, you know, your yeah, face yeah. and stuff. Because <laughs> you to, look great. I need to be like, stand it. up, and you need to be like, smile up. Yeah, like, I, I do say smile. I know, I know. I and you do say, you say. Hey. We, we, we used to do this like where she would pat me on the back to like, like uh, but fix not my because then no, not in a shameful way. It's just like you asked, so I was like, yeah, hey. yeah. Same for I mean, I used to have the worst posture ever. You but have great posture, and you have hey. a great face. Oh, thanks. But you know what I mean? It's just one of those things where. Oh man, that's a good one. Too. Save it for save next it. time. I was gonna say we'll save it at the front. Can't. There you go. Now I really In the see holster. It. Jeez, 
There, I think it's hiding now. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, watching and give us your answers. I feel like those are some good moral those, dilemma those ones. Those were some good ones. They were good. And I'm very, very interested to hear what you guys have to say. Yes. So put them in the comments and we'll check it out. All right. Bye, guys. See you next time.